Das is für yeah. nur für Papier. This is only for paper, and that's for plastic. There's one for everything. A priest from India in Germany. You, younger. Yeah, younger. Younger. These umlauts in German are a bit hard. Umlaut, bisschen schwierig. In Deutschland. There aren't many priests in Germany, which is why I've come here. Frankfurt Airport. The Tria Diocese has sent a welcoming committee to meet their new priest, Father Shijo from Kerala, South India. Here he comes. A warm welcome to Germany. It's cold. The sun's shining now, but this morning we had snow on the ground. I don't have a jacket. I haven't been shopping yet, but I have to buy a jacket. I brought one along for you. It's February, just five degrees Celsius in southern Germany. A journey into the unknown begins. Shijo's predecessor, Father Justin, brings him to his new parish on the Moselle River. Shijo's got a degree in theology and 12 years' experience as a priest in India. Will that be enough to help him settle in? Parish priest Hermann Josef Fluck and Father Bejes, another guest priest from India, are waiting. Hello, namaste. We say guten tag. <laughs> Germany is struggling with a shortage of priests. So the church is recruiting clergy in India to help out for a few years. Shijo will be getting his full pay and an opportunity to learn about another country. It's a big church. And I like it very much. Yeah. <laughs> He's still struggling to find the words. Now we could go for some ice cream. It's the first day we can get ice cream. Give him one scoop. That'll do. I'll take lemon. We're lucky we can do this today. Thank you. Now we're coming to the Moselle. Do you like the ice cream? It tastes good. But in winter, we don't normally eat ice cream in India. Father Shijo's first evening meal in Germany. All right, let's pray first. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, Amen. Come, Lord Jesus, be our guest, and let thy gifts to us be blessed. Amen. Bon appetit. Look at this. Good German bread. In India, we normally eat with our hands. <laughs> but I only eat with knife and fork. You can go ahead and eat with your hands. It might be easier. No problem, I can do it. You can do it any way you want. You can also try the sausage or the cheese. Try anything you like, okay? And whatever you dream during your first night in a new house is supposed to come true. So I wish you a very good night and pleasant dreams. Danke. 
ich bin glücklich und ich bin zufrieden. I'm happy and content. Ich habe ein bisschen Angst, weil I'm just a bit nervous. Because it's my first day in the parish. Einem einen Pfarrei. His first mass is in the chapel of a senior citizen's home. The Indian priest meets his new German flock. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, may the Lord be with you and with your spirit. Dear sisters and brothers, a warm welcome to our Mass. Let us pray. God, our Father, to bring your peace into our world, full of tension and conflict. Your Son came to us and gave his life. He did not live for himself, but gave his life for us. Shijo sings in his native tongue, Malayalam. He takes German lessons with Sieglinde Schmidt, a member of the congregation. So I'd like to practice. May I read it aloud? Yeah, bitte. Yeah. Aus dem Heiligen... Uh, ein Moment, bitte. Aus dem Heiligen Evangelium nach Johannes. In jener Zeit... Shijo reads from the Gospel of John, and his teacher corrects him. Jünger. Jünger. Ja, Jünger. 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 Ja, ich finde... I find this umlaut in the German language a bit difficult. For example, Bruder or Junge. I have to practice that some more. Once a week, he calls his parents in Kerala, India. Hello, Hernando Isesham. I was just talking to my mother, and everything's fine. I miss her. At first, there's some apprehension. But then you find out what the culture and the people are like, and then it gets easier. It happens everywhere. When we go from Kerala to Bangalore or to another state in India, the situation is always the same. The Germans speak very freely and they're very open. And they speak their minds. It's good to live with this freedom. I always say he eats too little. He says he doesn't want any more. Yes, I've lost a bit of weight. It's a little hard for me to cook. I haven't ever done much cooking. In India, the women do all that. <laughs> Things are as they should be. Now, let's see how we've done. <laughs> Shijo is trying German sauerkraut for the first time. Ja, 
Ambition sour. Yeah. It's a bit yeah. sour. <laughs> Pure milk. I think it's good. Is good. But if it's too sour, I won't eat it. So sour is then Aside from culinary challenges, Shijo has settled into Germany well. But have the German parishioners gotten used to him? He's really a great priest. He's learned so much in such a short time. It's amazing. All I can say is hats off, really. Let's see. We have to hurry up a bit, but we'll make it. We're very glad to have Shijo here with us. We get another perspective on our lives, how we are with people and how he is with people. It's very nice. It's a gain for the congregation, who would otherwise struggle to find a new priest. There's been a shortage in Germany for some time now and no relief in sight. 7,000 positions are unfilled in the Catholic Church and the situation's worsening. It's good to know that there are still people working on behalf of the church. Why not? We're multicultural. An Indian priest is welcome. I come to church every Sunday. And how's he doing? Fine. I'm impressed by him. Above all, he can speak so well. Not all of them can do that. We had someone from Poland and you could barely understand him. <laughs> Father Shijo Paul Aminani Kahl came from Kerala, southern India, to Germany because he sees his calling here and wishes to serve his God. On earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. the body of Christ, the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise be to you, Christ.